The alkaline trap method is a simple laboratory procedure useful for quantifying microbial activity in a soil by measuring respired carbon dioxide. To complete the first portion of the alkaline trap method, you will need fresh collected soil, fresh green and brown plant residues, an analytical balance capable of measuring 400 grams or more, three quart or pint sized canning jars, three 20 milliliter borosilicate scintillation vials, a small mortar and pestle, a glass stirring rod, long tweezers, and a laboratory spatula, an aluminum weighing dish, and a 10 milliliter pipette with tips. In addition, you will need 1.5 molar sodium hydroxide. Participants should wear goggles, gloves, and protective clothing when completing this procedure. The alkaline trap methods are divided into two parts in order to accommodate an incubation period. This video will cover the first part involving setup of the alkaline trap followed by a period of incubation. Since fresh soil is used in this procedure rather than air dried soil, it is necessary to complete a moist soil to oven dry correction factor. To begin, weigh the empty tin and record. Then tear the scale and weigh approximately 10 grams of fresh soil into the tin and record the exact weight of soil added. Place the soil into an oven for at least 24 hours or until the sample stops changing weight. After oven drying, re-weigh the tin and soil. Subtract the weight of the empty tin to obtain the weight of the oven dry soil and divide this weight by the moist soil weight to obtain the moist soil to oven dry correction factor. To begin setting up the jars, label each of the three jars with the date, the researcher names, the treatment, either green, brown, or control, and any other pertinent information. Next, place a jar on the balance and tear it. Then weigh 30 grams of soil into the jar, being careful to record the exact weight of soil added. Repeat the process for all three jars. To the brown and green treatment jars, add 0.6 grams of the respective residues after finely grinding the residues with a small mortar and pestle. Mix the residues into the soil using a stirring rod. Next, use a pipette or a repipetter to add exactly 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide to each of the three glass vials. Using a stirring rod, make a small space in the center of the soil and carefully add one scintillation vial to each jar. Ensure that no sodium hydroxide spills onto the soil, then tightly close each jar. Store the jars in a dark space to incubate until part two of the procedure is to be conducted. 